Relive Spiegel's flat tire rescue. I thought you were going to crash into me. I thought so too. I was like, oh, this is how I die. Tiffany Haddish dishes celebrity dirt. I've been in his house. Whose house? Uh, Ron Jeremy. What? Watch Justin's humiliating punishment for losing a bet. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel so bad for you. Oh, no. Find out why Raven's kicker Justin Tucker avoids the ocean. The fish use it as a tool. That, well, that, there's that. All that and legendary comedian John Lovitz visits the studio. Like, what is it like talking to me right now? <laughs> well, you're a little odd, so. Yes, I am. Justin, Scott, and Spiegel? The 98 Rock Morning Show? Yep, I'm an idiot. What is happening right now? They pay me to talk. What are they doing on my TV? Justin Scott and Spiegel shouldn't be on TV. The year was 2013. And Josh, what had happened to your car that day? I put too much air in a tire because I didn't know how to put air in my tire. And uh, it blew on 83. And I had to be rescued. And in a panic, I called uh, Justin and Scott for help, which it was, uh, was a good thing, but uh, before it was a good thing, it was terrifying. We're all going to watch this alongside you in three, two, one, and play. Here's what happened. You had called us, but you had also called the tow truck service. So we wanted to film this, and I wanted to get there before the tow truck got there. So I was driving <laughs> at an exorbitant amount of speed. <laughs> he was like, very fast. fast. To try to beat, I wanted to beat the tow truck driver there because we wanted to be the ones to change the tires. And here oh, it is, watch. Oh, I just cut people off. And I'm gonna slay. Dude, 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 dude. What the? F <laughs> Did you get that? Look at the look at the asphalt <laughs> on the outside of his window. I saw, so I saw you in the in my rearview mirror. I didn't know it was you. I was terrified. I thought you were gonna crash into me. I thought so too. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is how I die. I'm going to be javelined through the windshield of one of my best friend's cars through the rear windshield of another one of my best friend's cars. This is how I go by injecting myself through two people's cars. Uh, and Josh, I love the footage that you pulled away from possible death at a blistering yeah. one half one of mile, a kilometer yeah, like, an hour. He just creeped forward. Right. I think it was going to help. <laughs> Oh, my truck's okay. All right. I almost killed myself. Why'd you do that? I was trying to come get you, and I didn't realize how close we were to you. You scared the hell out of me. I'm, like, sitting here. I'm so nervous. People are going 100 miles an hour. I'm afraid of... I almost killed you and, our, and ourselves. Oh, look at Spiegel. Look at Spiegel. Look at oh, how much better love. Spiegel looks in 2020. Good <sighs> God. Josh, <laughs> you are so pissed at us. We were about 90 degrees on an embankment. That embankment, Scott just drove up, not a ding or a dent on it. We get on scene and we have to get access to the spare tire. And of course, Justin, you know this as well as anybody, the spare tire is located where? In the trunk. That is right. So we have Spiegel pop the trunk, thinking we're gonna have easy access to the tire, get it done, be out of there. And what do we find? What the? What is all this? What the hell is this? What? <laughs> 20 cases. 20 cases? Rest in peace. God bless Pumpernickel. Oh, she had oh she had a sensitive tummy. She had That's to have right. the the special prescription dog food, yes. which apparently Spiegel <laughs> bought in bulk. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, you could not have you no. could not have fit one more case into that no. trunk. It was literally no. filled to the was there a Black inch, Friday sale on prescription dog food? Yes. I would go every uh, couple of months or however, you know, how often I needed to go. And they would, I mean, they would have to have employees from the vet's office carry it out with me. <laughs> Don't you lift a thing, which I'm pretty sure you didn't as Scott not only changed your tire, but took all of the dog food out himself. He almost killed me. That was one of the scariest moments in my life. The whole time uh, I'm sitting there, I'm terrified somebody's gonna hit me. And then I almost did. Then I would be on the news and I wouldn't even be able to report it. I would help you, but I hurt my neck. It's going to be a hard to break. Forty-eight hours ago, I was having dinner in a castle in Dublin. This sucks. 
Josh, what did you think when you saw Scott's truck barreling towards you in your rear view mirror? I was mirror? terrified. I thought somebody was playing with their cell phone, looked away, and this, uh, uh, and you just sped an example of how I can do no manual labor. You're, yeah, you're le you know, like you're not even helping. You're just yeah. standing. You're not you're even supervising. To I'd like to call it supervising. <laughs> I did offer though. I did offer. Look at that. Look at that. I don't have all day. Look, Look at that. At the rip. Yo. Look at the oh rip. You are never allowed to put air in your own tires again. <laughs> Ever. Spare Ever. Look at this. Lug nuts are going back like Ricky on the Bobby, spare. baby. God. You look the same. No, I don't. Look at the line on that beard. It's all high. Oh. Well, yeah, it is high. Hair wow, was that terrible. was a high line. I had yet to grow a unibrow. Look, there's no gray. Look, <laughs> there is no gray. There's no gray. I'm so <laughs> old. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> and we're off. And we're off. Oh. God bless. You're still oh, here. We that. all look like hell now. I needed that laugh. Up next. One little part of your brain or your body was curious, like, Maybe I no, want to experience it. Just no, once. no, because his breasts were the same size as mine. Oh, we like to catch them when they're young and haven't quite blown up into a triple A lister yet. And that was the case with our pal, Tiffany Haddish. She came to town, joined us on air, and look at it, all these years later, she's now one of the biggest actresses, comedians in all of Hollywood. She even filled in for Ellen recently, but when she was on the come up, she hung out with your boys, Justin Scott and Spiegel. Enjoy. Time out. How do you end up back at Ron Jeremy's house? Explain uh, what went so me. bad or so, so right, right to end up yes. at Ron Jeremy's house? So I was doing the comedy show at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood, and my my girlfriend she was with me, and she's pretty hot. And so we're outside the club, and we're talking about you know some marijuana because mm. it's California. And Ron Jeremy's at the show, and he's a, he goes, hey, I got uh, papers. I have papers with my with my image on it. And I'm like, yeah, right. And so he pulls out the papers, and he's like, I have more at my place if you want, a, like, a box of them. And we're just like, sure, we'll have some of your papers. And it's like, it worked. it's it's of him. Smooth, Ron. Yeah. And so nice. we go back to his place, which is, like, down the street, and he has this huge turtle tortoise that's, like, Let's start here. How, in a condo. How is Ron Jeremy's place? It is, he's a pack rat. It's dirty. Does it oh. smell? Is it, it a house? It, it, it's a house? It's an apartment. It's a condo. It's a condo. A condo, which is an apartment. Yeah, which is an apartment you own. Yeah, and um, it was messy. Mm -hmm. Very messy. Smelly, like Justin said. Uh, it's. An I don't odor. remember it being smelly, odor. but I just remember it being a lot of newspapers. Between and a lot Ron of, like, Jeremy a lot and of, a turtle. A lot of crap everywhere. <sighs> And he's yeah, got and a it was big a turtle, a big old turtle that looked like Ugh. it was saying, "Rescue me, please, get me out of here!" Like Someone kill everywhere me. I was going, the turtle was like right behind me, like, "Please help please, me get out of here!" Please get kill me, me. like get kill me. me, please put me, take me outside to the sun. Because mm. I've seen, to, you know, speaking to him, trying to grab up on your lady bits, you see him. He still is like a. Uh, guest speaker at some of these like adult conventions and stuff like that, and you know, he's considered like the, the the Charlton Heston of that industry. So right. he'll walk up to some young starlet and one he, year in the business and just, just got car blanche and just like do it yeah he, my moment. friend went in the back went uh, into his yeah. room so with did, him okay that's and how and she went in there with him i didn't go in there i just kicked it with the turtle who looked like me and the turtle was having a conversation like please get me out of here so please. i the turtle no <laughs> I totally let the turtle lick my toes. And <laughs> yeah. Oops. So does she come running and like screaming out of the bedroom? Or? No, she didn't come running, but she came out like her soul, a little bit of her soul was taken away. She came out with like her she's eyes, not, her she's eyes not, real she's wide. A like, bit, she's a little bit, go. a little bit dead inside. I need to go get a she shower, is. Tim. He yeah. tried to, this thing with a turtle and oh God, my teeth stink. Did he make a play at it? Did he make yeah, a play he, for your friend? Like for real? Run at it. He he. I think they did something in there. Oh, I think no, I'm really. pretty sure they did. Now something. for you, obviously not. You didn't see like the appeal, but maybe, like Justin said, for your like he is a legend. Yeah, so and I was down for the I was down for the free wraps, uh, you know, the pe it. free papers and the free weed. But that's and, it. And then you know he invited me to a few functions after that. And I went to him. Up next. Oh, boy. Now he's shaping. Oh, no. I feel I there's shaping going on. Scott uh, showed me a picture of uh, 
the haircut that's mm-hmm. going to happen, and it's it's the worst haircut I've ever seen. Ever. It's horrifying. Uh, I actually feel sorry for Justin. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah, the front uh, portion of I'm Justin's hair. Off. Yeah, mm-hmm. really coming at, coming down. That is moving fast. I'm gonna try and look at this. I'm gonna try and put a positive spin on this. Like I've been sick of my haircut forever. It's just been the same terrible cut for like three years now. Oh boy, now he's shaping. Oh no, I feel I there's shaping going on. This is gonna give me a chance to start fresh with something. Ooh, oh, uh, boy. yeah, I'm uh, I'm uncomfortable. I, uh, <laughs> What's he I doing? Took, speaks. I took the guard off, and we're down to straight hair. Ooh, oh, man. Oh, 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 that's, <laughs> that's, oh, that's troubling to look at. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That, oh, oh, don't shave like something racist into it. <laughs> oh, like oh an, God. <laughs> uh, maybe I should leave. Oh, no. Maybe no, I should no, leave no. the room. Look at me the whole time. I don't time. know if I could. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for you. Uh, oh. Now that it's shaping up, well, what do you think, uh, Brad? Oh, yeah, it's coming I, this could be this this, this could be trend setting. Wow. Yeah, okay. This could no. be trend setting. I don't know. This could be the next big thing. Oh, God. I think it's done. Oh my God! I feel so bad for you. Oh no! Are you doing any of the beard, Scott? Oh, Is that fair game? No, I do. No, 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 no. That could be next year's time machine. And we're about to find out Justin's okay. reaction. Yeah. Is it good? All right. Here we go. Oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my. Oh my God. It's you want to get. <laughs> take a look at the back. Can you show him the back, so, sort of? It's. It, it's, I mean, it's. Take a picture. Shamed, take a picture. Take a picture. Shamed. Take it, Mike. Give me. Give, oh my God. Take. <laughs> It's so bad. Up next. But I don't like leaving my house. I'm very uncomfortable. I'm only comfortable here and at home. Are you trying to make me cry? John Lovitz, former Saturday Night Live star, comedian, an all around good guy, and we loved having him on the show. Conversation got a little weird. Uh, I'm not taking any of the blame, but take a look at what happened. Are you more comfortable on stage uh, and uh, when you're acting than in than real on life? The toilet? Than, than like when you're just talking to people in real life on the street? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, strangers. I'm not good at talking to strangers. Right. What What is that like? Like, what is it like talking to me right now? <laughs> well, you're a little um, odd, so yes, I am. <laughs> now I'm getting scared. <laughs> no, it's uh, well, uh, no. This is a radio show. I'm right. It's like performing. So you're performing. Yeah. But if if you're if you've got to go to the store and get something, uh, and you got to interact with people, you don't look at me like that. God, this is coming from a guy, like John. A, Let like me give you context. Stalker. He, yeah, he doesn't leave his house <laughs> at all. He's become an introvert. He bought a, a ticket to go see Spider-Man the other day uh, for a 2 o'clock showing, and then he couldn't leave the house and go see it. He just wasted the ticket. I'm, to- I'm totally agoraphobic. Yeah, I say you have agoraphobic. Yeah, yeah. I can, I, the only place I can come is well, that's here. that's sad. Yeah, it is very sad. Um, Did you try to get help for it? No. No, I try. You know, I'm no, just trying. Not. He semi embraces it a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I you don't want to get help for it. Yeah, you know, look, this is supposed to be a conversation with you, not about me. Um, but I was just trying to give him some context as to, <laughs> yeah. to why you were asking those questions. No, yeah, the, the, because you have trouble going yes. to the store and speaking right. to strangers. Yeah, yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, first of all, I don't like people in general, but I don't like leaving my house. I'm very uncomfortable. I'm only comfortable here and, and at home. And at home, really. Are you trying to make me cry? <laughs> I don't know where we're going well, with this. I, yeah. No, I just wanted to know how John loves it. I, I, how do you navigate the world? You're, you're not that. You're not in no, that. Bad I know of a people situation. are going to recognize. Well, they, I don't expect to be recognized, but when I am, I understand why. So I don't. I'm just nice and then go hello. Right. But then some people are like, "What? Well, you're not funny. Why aren't you? What's wrong with you?" And do they right? ask you to do shtick? Sometimes, yeah, and then, like, if you don't perform for them, then then they're like, what's wrong with you? And then if you <laughs> do, they're like, what are you always on? I mean, you can't really yeah. win. But most people are nice, and I say hi, and, you know, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. Well, it's good to know. <laughs> well, I, I, John Lovitz, Magoobies, this weekend. <laughs> Magoobies.com.
tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. So I think I think you two should be friends. I think you guys should get along be, great yeah, outside be, of here. Be fast no, friends. Be at his house. <laughs> no, yeah, you could come over. I have a dog too. You do? Yes. Want to see a picture? Oh, He's a, Jesus, definitely an sure. animal person. Get How old are you in your head? Lock the door. <laughs> I'm, I'm very immature. I'm very immature. <laughs> Is that the reason you don't go into the ocean because you don't want to be uh, bitten by a shark <laughs> on your leg? <laughs>what is uh, a day like when you come here uh first of all are you in the off season are you normally up this early uh i am now uh up this early in the off season because of uh, the child yeah yeah okay. and so he's up he's a he's up pretty early he's up 637 yes each day um God, before awful. we had easton uh my wife and i we'd get up at you know 730 8 830 and how old is he now Three. Three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think we've all been there, guys. I think we've all been there, right? I've heard someone call them three these days. They're so um, independent. How do you keep that part of your body safe? How do you uh, strengthen it, make sure it's in tip top shape? Like the whole year, you got to, you got, what do you do with your legs? You can't get fat legs in the off season. That's 100% right, Justin. Thank uh, you. Yeah, you don't want to have like dumpy kicker legs at any point. Uh, so yeah, you got to stay on top of that kind of stuff. But like do you I, wear pillows around your legs to protect? <laughs> them? Like a Lloyd's of London wrap? policy. Yes. Do you have your legs insured like a, oh, like a dancer? Right. Of course he does. You have to have I leg I insurance. I don't. Well, you are playing with fire. Got to look into that. We got to get you leg insurance. I like to live dangerously. What can I okay. say? But I got. I have to assume though. You know, you're active on social media, and some other people are. If they see you. Like at a trampoline park somewhere? Are you getting oh, no, a so call, are you getting the call from the bosses that. like, get <laughs> so, your ass off of that right now? Well, that happened with Patrick Mahomes. He was, like, uh, playing basketball, just, uh, you know, getting some, you know, activity going, getting a little cardio, playing, a little, playing a little b-ball. And then <laughs> <laughs> I blew out my ACL. <laughs> I mean, that's a spot-on impression. <laughs> you should hear Scott's. It's unbelievable. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, how, how would he describe that? Now, you know, his knees look like they're in a pretty bad situation. He probably, I could, he'd probably jump a bike as far as I could throw a football, like 83 yards. Yeah. But, yeah, he hurt himself. Well, no, so I, I, don't, I don't know anything about that. But, like, I don't, I don't believe he hurt himself, but it was a story pretty quickly that, you know. That he was doing. Andy Reid and, like, yeah. the, the uh, GM made sure to let him know, like, hey, let's – Let's keep the basketball to like a, a minimum. Oh, wow. We don't even want you to like not even yeah. do that. <laughs> I don't go into the the ocean anymore. The fish use it as a toilet. That, well, that there's that. It's disgusting. Yeah, and, and people then, are walking uh, out of the ocean these days with like deadly skin infections. What are you Their afraid of off. in the ocean? Sharks. Are you serious? Well, <laughs> that's their house. Like, right. I'm not. Are you, so you're you, really if, serious about? If a shark came into my house, yeah, like. This is America. We have the Second Amendment. Shout right. Out. Like, right? You're taking a slug <laughs> to the fin. <laughs> like, <laughs> meanwhile, you're going into its house. You're getting dealt with. I'm going to bite your head Meanwhile, off. like, yeah, the, I feel like that's that's totally uh, understandable if a shark wants to take a, take of a course. chomp at me yeah. because I'm in his house. Of course, but I just... Because I don't know the yeah. rules of, Are you of also the ocean, afraid? let alone international waters. Let's not even go there. Oh, God, that's the where horrors it gets crazy. that are... That's no. where you got megalodons and giant squids you, you and got pirates. Bermuda triangles.